Last video, we learned about right triangles in general and how their sides relate to one another. But today, we're just going to talk about special kinds of right triangles that have a different association. So, an isosceles right triangle, and remember, an isosceles triangle has two congruent sides, which would be this one and this one, so that they have the same length. So we're just going to call that length A. Well, their hypotenuse, which is across from the right angle, is equal to that side times the square root of 2. So that means that this length is square root of 2. So let's do an example. We have this triangle and this angle is 45 degrees so that means that using our Pythagorean theorem 45 plus 90 plus x equals 180 that x has to equal 45 not not side x just this x angle x. So that means that this, and we know that this is an isosceles right triangle, that this is congruent to this. So that means that side x is equal to 4, and we're trying to find what y is equal to, and y is the hypotenuse. So we follow our rule and we take 4 and multiply it by the square root of 2 to get the length of y. So y equals 4 square roots of 2. So now we're going to talk about another kind of triangle that has its own special rules as well. It's called the 30, 60, 90 triangle. And these numbers right here are the measures of the angles. So it's a right triangle, so it has to have a 90 degree angle, which is right here and this angle is 30 degrees and this angle is 60 degrees so this length right here is just A this hypotenuse is 2 times this side this side is A times the square root of 3 and we're going to use those to find out what the length of each side of the right triangle. So, we know that this side is equal to 5. So that means so that means that this angle is equal to 30 degrees. So, the side opposite the 30 degree angle is 5. The side of opposite the 60 degree angle, which is y, is equal to a square root of 3. So right now a is equal to 5 because this side is equal to 5. So we're going to take 5 and multiply it by the square root of 3 to find out what y equals. So y equals 5 square roots of 3. And then we know that this side is equal to 2 times a, which is, so we just take 2 times 5, which is 10. So that means x is equal to 10. And those are the two special kinds of right triangles. Make sure to watch the next video where we're going to take all this information and use it to do right triangle trigonometry.